All right, everyone. So I'm making this video, a uh, quick video of the camper because I am listing it for sale. So this is going to be like a walk around video. I'm going to try to go over everything on the camper just so you can see uh, what you're beginning if you end up purchasing it. So I'm going to start with the walk around now. All right. So it's a four wheel camper, originally a Ranger 2 model, um, but the previous owner completely stripped it whole down all the way to frame and redid the whole camper. So as you can see now, it has the smooth siding. It does have a full size window here. The base is gonna be 81 inches from front to back. And then the narrow width is about 51 inches. And then the outside width, I believe is 68. But let me double check here. I'll measure that real quick, hang on. Yes, so the main width is 68. When I had it on my third gen Tacoma, um, it barely stuck over the bed rails. It still was in within like the tire. So like it didn't stick out any further than what my tires did or anything on my truck. So it does come with four camper jacks. These are the Titan jacks and there is an extension on the front ones. I did need these to fit my Tacoma um, underneath. Let's go to the back here. So uh, so it has, on this side it has an amber light and on the back it has an amber light, but the amber lights are currently not working. For some reason, whenever I go to hit the switch, um, it just keeps blowing the fuse. So, and I haven't really looked too, fur too, too much further into that. So not really sure what that is, but there is a bright white light LED um, that does work. On the back, you have your back door, you have deadbolt, you have a window. This is the tank for the diesel heater. And then I actually have the pump for the diesel heater mounted here. And then it goes on the inside. And then if you saw here, this is the actual intake for the diesel heater. So let's go around to the other side. The other side is completely smooth. So nothing on this side. And again, it's completely smooth siding. The only thing original to the camper is the roof. So the roof still has the ribs on it. Um, it is watertight. I haven't had any issues with anything like that. It does come with a max air fan. And this fan is like the, this has like the rain top on it. So you can have it open um, if it's raining and no rain can get in. There is a rack, an aluminum rack mounted up here. And there is one um, Renergy 100 watt solar panel in here. And then coming around to the front. You have your front window and then you have your six latches to open it up. So let me go in here. Oh, let me also show you. So here I do have the piece that I had originally running into my Tacoma. So this is for the battery management system in there. This has an Anderson plug and I ran um, a big cable and everything from my battery in the Tacoma all the way to the back. So I do have that. So depending on your truck, you may be able to reuse that. But that's how basically you, you plug this into your truck and you can get um, charging from your alternator. And I'll show that in the battery system that's in there. And there are a couple of little levelers on here. So there's a level there and there's a level there. So let me go ahead and open up the camper and I'll give you a look at the inside. All right, so I got the camper all opened up, got some lights turned on so we can see everything in here. So stepping straight into the camper and if you come down here to the left, there is an electrical uh, fuse panel here. Most of the electrical stuff is run there for all the lights and all that stuff. On the right hand side, I built this enclosure here. Inside houses the diesel heater. I'll also include heavy duty uh, tie downs. And then immediately to the left has a little storage spot that you can fit uh, Coleman dual burner stove. So I have that in here. Um, also including the Dometic refrigerator. I believe it is a 60 liter or 65 liter. Um, it's currently turned off right now, but it works well. And then we step inside. So something that I recently did was add a countertop in here. So you'll have a countertop. This is your fan up here. Again, it's a max air fan. It has like the 10 different speeds. It goes in and out. And then it also has like a thermostat. 
and then coming to the right you have your extra cushions for the bed so the bed does pull all the way out and it turns into a giant um giant queen size bed you have your four windows so they have the blackout piece then they have the plastic piece and then behind the plastic they have the mesh for mosquitoes you'll have two leds lights in here so one up front one in back um again you have a kitchen countertop here so you can use this for food prep cooking and then you have the sink so this comes off and i got some stuff in here right now but basically i keep the actual water faucet down there so this just runs into a like a five gallon uh jug that i usually have in here or the one of those blue seven gallon jugs actually and that feeds up into the water and then i have it just drained into one of these collapsible five gallon jugs so i'll be including all this with the camper and then i usually leave these things just kind of tucked up in here but i'm not using it so if it does drain it just drains back into the sink i'll put that back on in a minute and then so under here this is like a little box you can have it if you want i'm gonna keep the claymore fan and stuff like that but it has it adds a little bit extra storage down up underneath here and then you can still access so on both sides these things both lift up and you can still access inside here there's some storage and stuff like that a little bit on both sides i did also i do have a dual usb it's running from the what you call it the fuse panel down there i just didn't know where i was going to mount it so i kind of just have it sitting here right now um but i did put like under counter lights so if you don't want to use the top lights maybe at night or something these make nice little lights and they're dimmable and all that stuff which is cool so we have those and then up front is going to be some storage and also your battery management so let me open this up and i'll give you guys a look all right so we got this opened up it's kind of a little bit of a mess i still haven't really cleaned too much out of it yet but basically what we have here is a renergy uh lithium battery smart lithium battery it's one of the ones that have the new lipo technology so it's good for like 3500 or 4000 life cycles which is awesome and then i also have their renergy um dc to dc with mptt solar controller in here this is the 50 amp version so it recharges from the truck very fast. And then again, it has the uh, Renergy 100 watt solar panel on the roof that's also feeding into this. And then there's a main power switch that you can use. I have everything run on breakers. There is a NOCO um, 10 amp like shore power charger that you can use to plug in. I don't think I showed it, but I'll show it on the outside. But I have a I have a NOCO plug that runs to the outside so you can run power from the outside inside. Um, and that's pretty much it for here. That does have the Bluetooth controller. And then I did recently add a GoWise uh, Pure Sineway inverter. It is a 1000 watt inverter. And it runs, I have a couple outlets running to the face of the front here. So you can turn it on and leave it closed or open it up if you want to have some airflow. And then this whole space is just a whole lot of extra storage. And then these are just little accesses. That's how you go to tie down into the truck. You have one on each side and then some in the back. This plug is nothing. This was from the original owner, but it's not wired into anything. Um, so let me see what else. The bed has a nice mattress on it. The cushions are very comfortable. Uh, again, there's a little bit of storage underneath these where that lifts up and then that's your diesel heater outlet. And that's pretty much it. So let me show you on the outside real quick. And I don't know if I told you, but the Renergy battery is a 
is a 100 amp hour battery. So it's a 100 amp hour. And then again, I have one of those NOCO short power plugs out here so you can plug in um, power extension cord or something like that in there. And then you'll have two plugs in here to run normal, normal power if you're hooked up to normal power like that. So yeah, so that's the camper. Um, if you guys are interested, I'll leave an email address at the bottom in the video. Um, let me know. I'm going to be listing it probably for 16000 or best offer. But it's ready to go. It's in immaculate condition. The roof, the canvas, all this stuff looks pretty much brand new. And don't pay attention to that. There will be a video coming up on that. And that's why I'm getting rid of the camper. Um, but yeah, so it's a very, very nice camper. It'll fit in most Tacoma long beds. You could probably do maybe a five foot bed, but it would definitely be hanging out like past your tailgate. Um, but most six foot beds, I do. I will include the platform at the bottom with the wheels. So you can kind of wheel around like I do. I just push it straight into the garage. And then if you guys need, um, I do have a base that I had built for my Tacoma. So it fits in, again, a six-foot bed, and it runs pretty much almost the whole base of the, of the camper. Because I had to lift it up about two and a half inches, something like that, to get it just above my bed rails. So if you need that, you can have that also. And then again, also the dolly. So you can take the dolly, the base... And then let me actually show you, sorry, it's dark in here, but this is that long power cord. So this will run from your battery in the truck all the way back to the camper. And that's what will give you the charge from your alternator. So I have that. And then I also have a, uh, I also have a breaker for that. So it's pretty much a turnkey camper. It's ready to go. Um, just hook it up to the truck and, and, and you're good. You're, you got charging and you're set. So if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments and have a good day.